please welcome Dan Harlan. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I'm a creator of magic, and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite creations. It's also been very popular with magicians around the world, something I came up with uh, 25 years ago. And it uses this deck of cards on which I've drawn a picture, a little stick figure magician. Now, I haven't just drawn him on this card. I've actually drawn him on all of the cards, and all of those pictures are a little bit different. So that if I do this, he appears to move. He reaches up, takes off his hat, and he's about to pull something out, but you know, I, I don't want you to see what that is yet because I'm gonna need a card named. I'm gonna use the uh, time-honored traditional committee method. Uh, now, since I don't know anyone here, I'm just gonna select somebody. Here we go. Yeah, fantastic. Will you stand for me, please? Hi. What is your name? Erica. Erica, here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to imagine that you have an invisible deck of cards, and you've separated them for some reason or another into the red cards on one side and the black cards on the other side. So you have two imaginary piles there, and what I'd like you to do is to select one of them to keep. Whatever you choose is what we'll use. So would you like the red cards or the black cards? The red cards. The red cards? Well, then we'll take the black cards and just toss them away. Do the same thing in your mind. Now, I'd like you to take Bones and hand him to the person next to you. Hi, and applause for her as well. What's your name? Troy Netta. Okay, so Troy Netta, your choice is a little more limited. We've got the red cards here, and you're going to imagine separating them into the hearts and the diamonds. Would you like the hearts or the diamonds? The hearts. The hearts. It's all imagination anyway. We'll just toss those and call these the hearts. Would you do me a favor and then hand bones to the person next to you, and thank you so much. You may be seated. And sir, stand up. This applause is for you. What's your name, sir? Scott. So Scott. Your choice is a little more complicated than the first two, but I'm sure you're way ahead of me here. You're going to, in your imagination, spread out the cards. These are the hearts. So we have 13 of them. Which one of those should we keep? The 10 of hearts. You separate out all the other cards and you toss them aside. Leave the 10 of hearts right out in the open like that. That's fantastic. And then toss bones up to me. He's going to watch the rest of this from right here in my pocket. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, you've all decided on the Ten of Hearts, yes? And so I'm going to replace your imagination with something very, very real. The Ten of Hearts. So that we don't forget which one you've chosen. And now, let's see the magician perform. He reaches up. He takes off his hat. He reaches inside. Now, most people expect him to pull out a rabbit. And those do look like ears, but they're not. Those are the corners of a folded card. When he pulls it out all the way, it unfolds, and he takes a look at it. And he looks pretty happy, because when he turns it over, it is the Ten <laughs> of Hearts. The very same one. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks very much. Okay, well, it's time to go to the boys. How many tricks can someone get in magic that they can buy in a shop and that they can learn and is good enough to destroy people on national TV? <laughs> Absolutely destroy them. Every magic trick I see, I get sick to death of. I've seen this thing probably a hundred times. I love it every time, but I've never seen the creator do it. Yeah. Fabulous. Uh, wonderful. Uh, Just uh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, do have to, I do have to say one thing, though, um, and, and you may not like this, but because of what you've said, I, I absolutely have to say it. This deck of cards, I, uh, I drew it especially for this show. Uh-huh. And there isn't anything unusual about the cards at all. As a matter of fact, these cards, all of them, just have the drawings that reveal just the Ten of Hearts and only the Ten of Hearts, and it worked. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean? Means, <laughs> it means that you guys... <laughs> May I, may I 
and pick him up. And wow. for your very wow. own. Wow. You may keep them. I don't know wow. how you'll divide them. Wow. That's amazing. Beautifully done at every level. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh, so nice. So nice. That is so incredible. <laughs> yeah. cool. Thanks, everybody. So fun. Oh, thanks again, man. That's beautiful. Just so beautiful. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow.